Yay! Jeremy Corbyn has been re-elected. I bet Theresa May is absolutely gutted. At last, my power is complete. We shall replace grammar schools with DNA selection. If your DNA is not up to scratch, you will be vaporised under the Houses of Parliament and all children shall have blonde hair like Boris. For now, there is no opposition. <laughs> I have become a crow! The Labour Party membership get a little bit angry if anyone dares to criticise. I'm on dodgy ground here making fun of Jeremy Corbyn. My great granddad was Jewish and I'm slightly effeminate. I risk anti-Semitic and misogynistic hatred. Listen, we've got no problem with people not agreeing with Momentum and the Labour Party. But if you do disagree, I was wondering if you'd wear this Star of David around your neck. And if you're female, just write the word whore upon your forehead. All who disagree with Jeremy are whores. Everyone calm down. This is a democracy. People get to say what they think. Stop bullying people who have a different opinion to you. Do you know what? I happen to believe in a lot of the stuff Corbyn believes in. Yes, save the NHS. If it wasn't for the NHS, my great-grandma wouldn't have been able to die in such a comfortable corridor. Of course, a reasonable rate of taxation, so jumped up little fucks can pay their way. Awkward. Just because you have the right beliefs doesn't mean you make a good leader. I believe in windmills, recycling, fair taxation. Am I going to try and run the Green Party? No. Because halfway through Parliament, I go to Ibiza and have a banging fucking session till sunrise. I'm a completely inappropriate person. Just because man be nice doesn't mean you're right to run ting. You know the other thing I hate? The more liberal people are, the more miserable they seem to be. I believe that everyone should be equal. A health service for all. We should live in a utopian paradise where everything's lovely and we all listen to REM and, and we slash our wrists and share our blood and, and we burn ourselves. And why are all the right-wing fuckers so happy? Have you seen Nigel Farage? Good morning! Today I kicked a Polish person in the face and then I watched a child drown whilst wanking on the bank. I love Britain. Let's hope pricks like me are completely wrong. Corbyn storms into Parliament with Viagra in his tank to give Theresa May a going over. But it does stretch the imagination. Good morning, Mr. Corbyn. <laughs> Today, I wish to implement grammar schools, close the NHS, and make poor people shit outside. They do not deserve the dignity of toilets. What say thee, Mr. Corbyn? <laughs> well, thank you, Theresa. My first point, there are construction troubles with the new roundabout in Lower Islington. And who's going to back him up? He's only got Diane Abbott. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, just eat it a bit more slowly. Jeremy, I'm going to blow my biscuit. Please prove me wrong, Jeremy. I just think you're going to get absolutely squished by the crow, Theresa May. And if you do, that means one thing and one thing only. We have to put our hopes in Tim Farron of the Liberal Democrats. Hello. Right, I'm Tim Farron. I'm going to create a socialist revolution by handing out free shortbread to everyone at my book club. Either that or the Green Party need to rise to power. Come on, Caroline Lucas, we need you. Green Party are the viable opposition and we propose weaving our pubic hair into protest blankets. Free Palestine. I recycle my own plop plop in a shed.